While trying to run a laundromat, plan a Chinese New Year celebration, and survive an IRS audit, a woman is sucked into a multi-universal battle featuring her father, husband, daughter, and IRS auditor. There is nothing I can say about this movie that will prepare you for how fast-paced, mind-blowing, and indescribable it is. It cannot be classified by genre, as it features mind-bending metaphysical action that hasn't been this interesting or well done since The Matrix. It has a love story that is as deep and meaningful as the one in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It has innovative kung fu fight scenes that, if it weren't for the absurdity of the weapons being used, would not feel out of place in a movie like Ip Man or Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The humor is as weird and random as anything in Shaolin Soccer or a David Lynch or Charlie Kaufman film. This is a wholly original film that wears its influences proudly but does not feel derivative of any of them. Michelle Yeoh is a marvel throughout this entire movie, both physically and emotionally, challenging what is expected from her as our protagonist, Evelyn Wang. We see the universe through her eyes and revelations happen for her and the audience at the same time. Her husband, Wayman Wang, portrayed by someone almost everyone probably recognizes but hasn't seen on film in over 20 years, Ki Hu Kwan, who played David in the Goonies and short round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. He has spent the past several decades behind the camera and he's worked as a choreographer, which he puts to great use here in an amazing fight scene featuring a bunch of bad guys and a fanny pack. Daniels is the writing directing team who put together this masterpiece. You've probably heard me rave about their prior film, Swiss Army Man, and one half of the Daniels directing team created a wacky dramedy called The Death of Dick Long, which is also incredible. Both of these films are well made and unlike anything I had ever seen before, but neither of them are really for mainstream audiences. Somehow, everything, everywhere, all at once is weirder than both of these movies and yet still more mainstream. This is one I can recommend to everyone. While reading about the making of the movie, I learned that over 500 visual effects shots made it into the final film, and those shots were created by only five people, most of which were working from home during the pandemic. This film was made for $25 million. Now, to put that into perspective, it cost $25 million to make Ghostbusters in 1984. But the true unsung hero of this movie is the editor. There were so many incredibly edited shots combining multiple takes filmed in different locations with the same actors and different costumes that seamlessly blended together into a cacophony of nonsense that somehow never felt confusing. Two hours and 20 minutes is a long movie, but this is so fast paced it flew by. I think multiple viewings probably will unlock some additional secrets and jokes that I missed the first time through, but I also feel like I generally understood everything, so multiple viewings isn't really necessary. There are so many fast jokes that you really have to pay attention while you watch. My favorite being a less than one second shot of an urn. And the acting is so over the top and enjoyable, it is just unlike anything that I've ever really seen before. Scene to scene, things change drastically but still feel cohesive. One minute you could have a thousand quick cuts full of dazzling cinematography, flashing lights, and loud booming sounds. It could immediately cut to two minutes of silence and a still shot of a rock on top of a canyon. And it makes perfect sense in context of the story. Daniels are officially on the list of directors who I cannot wait to see what they do next. It would be a crime to ruin any of the crazy visual surprises, even if there are so many I could list 10 off right now and not even scratch the surface. If you want a brief idea of what to expect while watching this masterpiece, watch the Daniels directed music video for Little John's song, Turn Down for What? Dressing like Elvis, fractured realities, googly eyes, laundromats, taking the entire family to an IRS audit, wearing an everything bagel on your head, 